That's one two. That's one two. And tell me just went live. Make sure we're live under video. Okay. Are we live here? I want to go live on yours too. Huh? So turn that mic off. Thank you. 
chair over there. Good, uh, good, good morning and good afternoon and good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I'm not sure. I I'm not sure I turn that off. We're learning. Never forget to learn. I want to thank you so much for coming to the uh, service of Band of Warriors for Christ. We have a great program for you today. I do want to share with you that uh, you, you uh, especially on the webinar jam we're still working on, but um, on the um, Facebook Live on Mylene's site, I, I can share with you it is amazing in the sound. So I'm, I'm so thankful that uh, that is working out. So we're working these things out. It takes time, energy, and money and effort. So I can say money, time, energy, and effort. Uh, and I want to share with you, if you can go on the BOWFC.org, BOWFC.org, go to the offering and hit a click of offering and put an offering in. We can be able to do more for you, and we want to do more for you. My, my lean and my heart are to do more for you and to see things grow within your lives, and that's our goals. So I'm, I'm very, very thankful for that. You know, we all fallen short. We all, all have made mistakes. We all have done things we should or shouldn't have done, but you're still on this earth. So it means that Jesus wants you to do something great for him. But there has to be a, there's always a but, there has to be a mindset. You know, uh, just a thought for a few seconds. If you want to change your location of where you're at, you have to be moved or plucked from one place to another. And truly, myself and Mylene wasn't wanting to move from San Diego. But when you say, Jesus, you use us, take us, guide us, deliver, direct us, lead us. And he changes the atmosphere of our life to, to have to move. You can look at it two different ways. You can be negative or you can be positive. You can seek for what Christ wants you to do here or do there. You can live in the past or live in the future. You can let your past trash, trash your future, or you can move forward. You know, in the fact of speaking with people, you know, if people say, well, you're really negative. You don't have to be. You can live for Christ in a positive sense. You just have to 
change how you think. And then how you think is how you speak and how your heart is, is how you move. So I want to share with you, being a band of words for Christ is not easy. But it's rewarding because it's not easy to get like, like in San Diego or in Michigan or Florida or the Philippines. There's many people getting together in living rooms. You might not like that living room you're, you're gathered into. You might not like that park bench you're sitting at watching this program to worship Jesus together with us. You might not like, might not like, might not like. You know, that's why we have so many cars on, on American travels, on, on the American roads, because people buy cars that they like. I wonder sometimes some of the cars people buy, like, they really, they like that car? But we aren't to the point of walking in and saying, well, I don't like her dress. I don't like his suit. We're not there to judge. We're not there to, to be a hypocrite in mind, mental state, physical state, and vocal state. We're here to worship Jesus Christ. We're here to give people hugs. If you're surrounding people you don't want to hug, you better start hugging them. Because I'd hate to have them in heaven. You're not. See, there's a mindset to be a band of words for Christ. It's to seek to see you change personally in Christ. So I can't help you as, as a pastor. I can't help you. I can give you, I can see where you're at and try to give you advice. If you don't take it, you're not going to get help. But if you take it, you will get help. If you look at me as the oh, deity of deity, I'll fall right on my face and crumble your life. But if we look at ourselves as individuals, as people seeking to make it to the glory of Jesus Christ to heaven, man, that's what we're headed for. So as where you're at, I don't care if you're on a park bench. I don't care if you're in a living room. I don't care if you're in a kitchen. I don't care if you're in a sauna. I don't care where you're at. If you choose to be the band of words for Christ and worship for the next hour, thank you for coming and being part of what we're doing. I love you so much. I appreciate you so much. Father, Lord God, as we're gathered together here, I'm asking you, please, move in people's lives, guide in people's lives, direct in people's lives. Lord, I hope that the words or the songs that are spoken or the prayers that are prayed in this hour, Lord God, it would affect, it would plant seeds, it would root up stuff. Your work would be done in the souls that are listening to these very moments in life. Lord, I thank you for the band of warriors for Christ. I ask that it grows. Lord, I thank you for what you've given us. I'm so honored to be part of what you are in our lives. Guide us and lead us in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name, amen. You know, I was thinking yesterday when uh, I'll give you a little story. Ben Shuck and, and Carl Andrewson um, were on a mountaintop. They did a motorcycle ride for the Band of Words for Christ, and they're on a mountaintop, and they're worshiping Jesus, and they're having fellowship, and I, I miss that a lot. I miss them. And, and we had to go to the UPS store, and we went to the UPS store, and God intervened in a, 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 a person that needed help, and that person called later on that night, and we spent almost an hour and a half on the phone, and and I could only I only gave a little simple directions to help, but God given. Have you spent an hour with someone lately that called upon you? Have you taken away your feelings and your thoughts and your ideas of the individuals and say, God, just use me? If you're a talker, he's going to use you. If you're a prayer warrior, he's going to use you. If you're a healer, he's going to use you. Whatever you are, he will use you. But I want to say thank you from all my heart for being a part of what our lives are. Could you do me a big favor in life? In the next week, could you go to B-O-D, I mean, could you go to um, D, Delta Papa Lima, D-P-L at Cox.net, D-P-L at Cox.net, and send me a, a personal note. You can text me a personal note. You can, um, and I love this program. It's, a, it's an app. It's called uh, Marco Polo. 
It's a video app where you can video a message to me and I can video back and it's personal one-on-one. -on -one. But just have fellowship with me. Share your heart. I love you, church. I love you, brothers and sisters. I'm going to bring up the most greatest person I know that can sing in this room, in this studio, Mylene Lantis. Mylene, would you share with the folks today? Let them know how much you love them and, and then just from your heart or your life on. Good morning, everybody, or good afternoon or good evening. Just wanted to say thank you for joining us and for having fellowship with us here on the Facebook Live and also here on the webinar jam. And I know you've seen all the behind the scenes of um, working before, trying to get it together. And um, it, it takes it takes more than effort to do for the Lord. So we appreciate all your prayers all out there. And um, I'm just thankful that God has given us an opportunity um, just to worship him. Because if you woke up this morning with another bread of life and he didn't take us home, that's a blessing. That means we have a job to do here in this earth. So I just wanted to invite you and just worship Christ with us um, as we sing these songs. Anything that you have in your heart, prayers, or if you have any worries, or um, if you just are going through life and you're having a hard time and you don't know what to do and you feel alone or you feel that nobody cares, but somebody cares. We care, the band works for Christ, but most of all, Jesus Christ cares for you because we're not forgotten and we will never be forgotten because Jesus said he'll never leave us and forsake us. I am not forgotten, I am not forgotten, I am not forgotten, God knows my name. I am not forgotten, I am not forgotten, I am not forgotten, God knows my, He knows my name. Light of darkness, strength of weakness, joy over sadness, he knows my name. Father to the fatherless, friend to the friendless, hope for the hopeless, he knows my name. I am not forgotten, I am not forgotten, I am not forgotten, God knows my name. Light over darkness, light of darkness, strength of weakness, joy of sadness, he knows my name. Body to the fatherless, friend to the friendless, hope for the hopeless. He knows my name. I will praise you. I will praise you. For I am fearfully and wonderfully made. I am not forgotten. I am not forgotten. I am not forgotten. God knows my name. I am not forgotten. I am not forgotten. I am not forgotten. God knows my, he knows my name. Light of the darkness. Strength of weakness. Light of the darkness. Strength of weakness, joy of sadness, he knows my name. Father to the fatherless, his friend to the friendless, his home for the hopeless, he knows my name. I will praise you, I will praise you, for I am fearfully and wonderfully made. I am not forgotten. 
Jesus Christ will take our place. Jesus laid down his life for us. It is an amazing grace. Just keep on worshiping him, everybody, wherever you're at. Living room, out there, with your family and friends, or just out there in your barracks, wherever you're at. Just worship him. Who breaks the power of sin and darkness? Whose love is mighty and so much stronger, the King of glory, the King above all kings. Who shakes the whole earth with holy thunder and leaves his madness in awe and wonder, the King of glory. The King above all things. This is amazing grace. This is amazing grace. This is unfailing love. That you would take my place. That you would bear my cross. You lay down your life. That I would be set free. Oh, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Lord. Oh, Jesus, I sing for all that you've done for me. Thank you, Jesus, Lord God. Thank you, Lord God, for what you've given us, Lord God. Every day, Lord God, day in and day out. Hallelujah. Who brings our chaos back into order? Who makes the offer? A son and daughter, the King of glory, 
the people of glory who rules the nations with truth and justice shines like the sun in all of its brilliance the king of glory the king above all kings this is amazing grace this is unfailing love that you would take my place thank you jesus that you would bear my cross you laid down your life then i would be set free oh jesus i sing for all that you've done for me worthy is the lamb who was slain worthy is the king who conquered the grave worthy is the lamb who was slain worthy is the king who conquered the grave worthy is the lamb who was slain Worthy is the king who conquered the grave. Worthy is the lamb who was slain. Worthy, worthy, worthy. Oh, this is amazing grace. Thank you, Jesus. This is unfailing love. That you would take our place. That you would bear our cross. You lay down your life, Jesus. That we would be set free. Oh, Jesus, we sing for all that you've done for us. Thank you, Lord God. All that you've done for us. Because Lord God, your grace is enough. Your grace is enough. Great is your faithfulness, oh God. Great is your faithfulness, O oh God. You wrestle with the sinner's heart. You lead us by still waters and to mercy. And nothing can keep us apart. So remember your people, remember your children, remember your promise, oh God. Thank you, Lord God. Thank you, Jesus. Your grace is enough. Your grace is enough. Your grace is enough for me. Great is your love and justice, God. Great is your love and justice, God. You use the weak to lead the strong. You lead us in the song of your salvation. And all your people sing along. So remember your people. Remember your children. Remember your promise, oh God. Your grace is enough. Your grace is enough. 
your grace is enough. Your grace is enough for me. Your grace is enough. Your grace is enough. Your grace is enough for me. Jesus, Lord God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Let's worship him, brothers and sisters, around the world. Remember your people. Remember your children. Remember your promise, oh God. Praise the your grace is enough. Your grace is enough. Your grace is enough for me. Heaven reaching down to us. Your grace is enough. Your grace is enough. Your grace is enough for me. God, I see your grace is enough. I'm covered in your love. Your grace is enough for me. For me. Give the Lord a praise. Well, thank you so much, Mylene. God's grace is so efficient when you're in it. You know, when you're in uh, sin or yourself, you know it. You know it when you're <clears throat> doing right or wrong. You know when you're doing what you want to do and it's what God wants you to do. And I was thinking about these messages that had come over for the last uh, week or so. And I'd like to read them to you. And as I read these to you, think about scripture that would click where these people are at. First of all, if you have your script, your Bible to you or your notebook or however you read the scriptures, we're coming to you out of Proverbs chapter 3, the King James Version Bible. I share that with you because I've been to a couple organizations that, um, man, I, I don't know what they're reading out of. They're saying it's the Bible. I couldn't even I, I, I couldn't even understand from the King James to the new version of 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 the new version. Get it? Verse one, my son, forget not my law, but let thine heart. Now, do you remember? See what it says. My son, forget not our mind, forget not my law, but let thine heart keep my commandments. Forget not my law, but let, let your heart keep my commandments, as Jesus would say. For length of days and long of life and peace shall they add to thee. I was at the doctor's office a couple of days ago. The doctor put the, I used to get really nervous in the, in the, in the doctor's office. So my blood pressure kind of goes up. It's always high at the doctor's office. I, I check it out every day. Man, I was calm, cool, collected. I was like, wow, man, I'm just like relaxed. She put the cup on there. Pressure starts pumping. She goes, oh, my goodness, your pressure is low. I go, what? I looked at it. It was like 129 over, over 81. I'm like, that is perfect. No, no, your, your, your heart beats. My heart beats was 58. should be like 68. She goes, do you exercise? I said, I sure do. But not today. I'm kind of chill, relaxed. Hmm, okay. 
I checked my heartbeat out yesterday after I did my work in my backyard, and but it was way up there. Why do I share that with you? Because when you do what the word says to do personally, things happen. My son, forget not my law. Forget, forget not, forget not. I rode with my son the other day. I mean, about, I don't know, six, uh, uh, no, four, three months ago. And he's helping us pack to come to Houston. And he was driving and he was looking at the gauges. He's looking at the mirrors and, and I was smiling. And he goes, Dad, what's you smiling about? I go, because you're looking around every 30, every like one or two seconds. You're looking around like I, I taught you. He forgot not what his dad taught him about how to drive, how to be a servant, how to make sure you're like a radar around your car. If someone comes up and hits your corner panel, what you can do and all that stuff. He didn't forget. He kept it going in his mind. And my son, forget not my law, but let thine heart keep my commandments. How do your mind let your heart keep the commandments? Because if you don't renew your mind daily, as the scripture would say, if you don't renew it, you will not allow your heart to keep God's commandments. For length of days and long of life and peace shall they add unto thee. Let not mercy and truth forsake thee. Bind them about thy neck. Write them upon the tables of thine heart. Bind them about your neck. Your neck is everything that breathes. The oxygen flow to your brain. Everything, your, your neck is what holds your head up. Your neck is what vitalizes your, your, your food to your, to your system. Your neck supports the top and the bottom. Let not, so let, I said, let not mercy and truth forsake me. For length of days and long of life, peace shall they add unto thee. Let not mercy and truth forsake thee. Bind them upon thy neck. Write them upon the tables of your heart. So, mercy and truth. Mercy and truth. So which one are you going to bind here? What, which one feeds? Does mercy feed truth or does truth feed mercy? Or is it equal flow? You ought to study that in the Word of God. Mercy and truth. The truth is I hate your guts because you have done this. The mercy is I am going to forgive you. Get it? Understand it? Verse 4 of Proverbs chapter 3. So, 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 so shall they find favor and good understanding in the sight of God and man. Wow. When you seek the word of God and when you seek mercy and truth, and how they work together and how they're bound together and how they co-work together. Your neck holds your 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 windpipe, it holds your 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 it holds everything to flow down and flow up. And it works together. Blood flow in your brain. Yeah. Well, spiritually, so shall I find favor and good understanding. So you're going to find favor in the eyes of God and good understanding in Christ and man. Now, for the band of wars for Christ, this is extremely important, Proverbs chapter 3, 1 through 4. So when you're applying those, you don't have time to gossip. You don't have time to talk smack. You don't have time to to bring garbage up to other people. But garbage comes to me all the time. It only thing comes to you is what you make come to you. If you demand to tell garbage to flee, the Bible says it has to flee. Because your mind is renewed on the word on Christ every day. Well, I need some examples, some real examples. I thought you would never ask. But before I get into those examples, let me share with you this. Verse 5. Trust in the Lord with all thine heart and lean 
and lean. And can you all say, I'm going to lean? I didn't hear you out there, San Diego. Oh, there you go. Trust in the Lord with all thine heart and lean not unto thine own understanding. It says, trust in the Lord with all your heart. Your understanding is up here. Remember that verse one? My son, forget not the law. Keep thy heart, keep the heart. I'm sorry, but let thine heart keep my commandments. Up here is the understanding. I understand that if I take uh, Tabasco sauce and I pop the lid off the Tabasco sauce and drink the whole bottle, I understand that I am going to be suffering. That don't stop me from doing it. I've seen a guy on, I don't know, he wanted to show, my brother wanted to show, show me this. Um, or what, maybe it was, it wasn't my brother. Someone on wanted to show me on the internet how this guy took, took a, uh, fifth of whiskey, Jack Daniels, and drank the whole like. Blah, 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 blah. His understanding is he could do it. But the fact is he's going to die. And had to rush in the hospital and all that. Trust the Lord with all thine heart, and lean not unto thine own understanding. When you lean onto your mind and don't let your heart work, let me ask you a question. Major football players, major soccer players, pay you food well. Major tennis players, major sports players, do they play from their mind or their heart? They play for their mind of getting the, the, the form down and where they can move and do all that. But when it gets down to the nitty gritty, when it gets down, we have to make this work. They go, something happens, they click into their heart and move in there. So what's going to stop you from living your normal life? Stop promoting your life, what you want, and start promoting Christ's life in your life. What's going to stop you from doing that? Let's, let me share with you some few people that have wrote and shared some great things. And I'm not going to give names today, but I'm going to share this with you. This person says, B-O-W-C, affect my life because I know the truth about Jesus how much he sacrificed his life to save me from my sins, how to become a patient person. Don't lose Jesus in your heart. If you do, you might make a mistake. That's a band award for Christ. You want... <clears throat> You want to know from us all what the band of wars for Christ means to us. That's what, that was the request. This is what it means to me. It means having a relationship with our Lord Jesus, our Lord God, and relationship with our fellow brethren and sisters. But it also means to me hope, faith, and trust. I've always said God put certain people in our lives that are chosen to be a part of his word. For us, we all become one family. We all care for each one as and another. But most of all, I feel the Holy Ghost and Jesus there all the time. And that, that's what the band of wars to me means. See, don't you think that as the ministry grows, as you grow in the ministry and other people get involved, that Lucifer won't try to come in and divert that, stop that? I mean, have you ever really wanted someone to come and get involved in the ministry and make it happen, and all of a sudden they got involved, they got saved, they, they're, they're making it happen in Christ in their own life, and all of a sudden they come back to you? They're terrible. You're not. Grave misunderstandings comes in between you two. And then you make a choice. I don't want to be near that person. Then we're not a family of God. Protect the family of Christ. Protect us as being together in the band of warriors for Christ. I, I, I have another one I'd like to share with you. 
in um This one is in Tagalog in English. Ang testimonya ay mula ko noong tinanggap. Okay, could you read in English, please, and not put the names out? Thank you. This testimony is talking about um, <coughs> in my heart, have Jesus Christ in our heart. Don't ever doubt God. And if you have doubt in your mind and in your heart, just remember Jesus Christ. My testimony with the band of, of Warriors for Christ for this ministry and how it reminds me um, when I'm having trouble and just having word in my mind and, I, and I'm having anxiety. I always remember that Jesus Christ is always there. He's powerful and all we gotta do is just keep on praying and just seek him. So we all are saved, we have anxiety, we have, we have these things that affect us, and Proverbs chapter 3 gives us the understanding of how we got to keep away from that stuff and how we got to stay on the track of Christ. Another, another one that was written. Well, in many different ways, for one God commands us to have fellowship with one another and to not forsake it. And a second, it is important to communicate with our pastor, our elders, our brothers, our sisters, in relation to our spiritual well-being. That also is what God commands. So for me, it is great for me to have a church family to share the good things in my life with, and as to ask for prayer in the tough times. I find it a pleasure to have a spiritual leader as such as a pastor to provide spiritual guidance in living for God and for my daily business in life. And while true things, and while truly things may be good well for my life, and I have a fine companion along with me, I am so glad to be part of the Band of Wars for Christ and be and by being part of the band, this fellowship, the effect on my life will always be positive through the good times and through the bad. I like what the writer said here, the band. You know, we might look at <laughs> we might look at that sign that says the band of warriors for Christ and think it's a church, think it's an organization. It's just a band of people warring in the truth, making sure their mind is squared away positively, especially in the fruits of God's spirit in Galatians and it flowing into their heart. Being in the band of warriors for Christ means being spiritual and having a sound mind, being a part of B-O-W-F-C means being with people that love Jesus. Did you hear what the writer says here? That he was being with people that love Jesus and not being a lonely person. Having people that help me continue my walk with God. You mean the person didn't write, help me to be negative or to talk about people or to get money from them or get cars or get this or get that. Having people that Help me continue my walk with God every day. When I have a hard time with something, Band of Wars for Christ is there to help me. Of course, it takes a willing heart and mind to communicate and reach out also. You can't always expect, 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 and get, and get, and get, and get. You have to reach out. My final and last um, read for the day, I, I, um, I'm admired about this. It gets a little personal. It gets a little real. In Matthew chapter 22, Matthew chapter 22, verse 37. Matthew 22, verse 37. Jesus said unto them, 
Thou shalt love thy Lord thy God with all thy heart and with all thy soul and all thy might. This is the first commandment. And the second is the love like unto it. Thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. And these two commandments hang all the law of the prophets. Who is our neighbor? Those that do the will of God. You should your neighbors. You should you should be on an island. It's called the BOWC Island, the Band of Wars for Christ Island. Inviting people to come on this island and meeting neighbors and people and friends of people that care and love your people. You know, one of the great one of the biggest things in life there is loneliness. I've never seen a wave, a move of loneliness in the last three years that I have before in my entire life. I don't care if you're married. I don't care if you're single. I don't care if you're divorced. I don't care if you're whatever. In the whole life, if you don't have Christ moving this, you're going to be lonely. I want to share a story. When I'm sharing this story, think about the man that was beaten on the side of the road, left for dead. I bet you he was like just mangled up, bloody, just a mess. A couple of preachers walked by. On the other side of the street, didn't have time. Didn't want to get their hands dirty. Didn't want that person to be a new neighbor. So they walked away. One man that went through that corridor quite frequently, found him, put him on his horse or his ass, and bound him up and Took him to the inn that he normally stays in on this road trip. He was a salesman of some sort going back and forth. And uh, he put he carried this man in and the hotel helped him wound, um, mend his wounds and got him food and got him, a, got him going. Then he had to go because he had to take care of business. He told the innkeeper, he probably knew the innkeeper very well, and says, hey, take care of this man. Here's some money. And if there's any more money, when I come back, I'll pay for it. This man had the power of God in his life. He knew what to do. He had connections. And he used those connections to take care of this person he never knew. Maybe this person he didn't know. Maybe, I, you know, I don't know. Maybe he fell into some hard times. Have you ever fallen into some hard times? Have you ever lost friendship with people because of your hard times and they don't like it no more? They don't like you? They thought your hard times was worse than your value, so they decided to give up the value of being your friend or to help you mend yourself to make it to heaven. Sounds like what we're looking at in Proverbs, don't it? <laughs> Sounds like we're, 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 it said, let not mercy and truth forsake thee. If you're not careful, you will let mercy and truth forsake you. And you'll forget why you're here and for what reason you got baptized in Jesus' name. I believe that everyone should start their walk with being baptized in Jesus' name. I've known Jesus for a long time and I've never been baptized in Jesus' name. Well, here you go. Let's get baptized. No other name given among men whereby we must be saved. We might as well seek and try, right, and do. But don't forget that mercy. Don't forget what you're supposed to be doing. I'll give you an example of a real-time messenger, a real-time person. I'm going to tell you something. This person, I didn't think I could ever reach him. Ever. You know, I just, I prayed and I said, Jesus, please give me understanding and knowledge to reach down the muck of my arm, help him come up, man. And only you can pull him up because if, honestly, if you don't touch his heart and change his life, he's not, he's going to fall back and it's just going to be terrible and horrifying, 10 times worse or 20 times worse, however you want to look at it. If you fell back once and you're 10 times worse, can you imagine being, fall back twice and being 20 times worse? Oh, I can't even imagine that. Worse is worse. Who are you? Who are you hanging around with? What are you? What are you hanging around with? What's up here? 
What are you not? I'm a, I got a question for you. What are you not allowing your heart to flow with Christ up here? You got some stuff that you're you're hindering the work of God. I told this man, I, I kept on telling him, I'd say, hey, you know, God's blessed you so much, you, you should be given. You should be given at least 10%. And you should be not worrying about it at all. And I watched this man have a nothing, nothing, sitting in, sitting in my living room with nothing, no job, no money, no nothing. And he, and he was getting frustrated about it, but he had the power of God in his life. And then God blessed him and blessed him and blessed him and blessed him. But you don't want to repay God back or you don't want to get connected with God in the financial end and in the spiritual end. There's both ends with Christ. He wants to make sure that you give to him for your loyalty and your ownership. And then he wants to give to you his spiritual sense. Whole new service. Let me share this with you. Amazing, amazing person. Just think about just put yourself in his shoes or her shoes. Put yourself in this person's shoes. For me, the blessings of being a band of warriors for Christ is that the people of the band of warriors for Christ care about the well-being of each other. Edith, remember when you first came in after reunite, re, 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 reuniting with you and getting back and God called us to get working together? You kept on telling yourself you were ugly. I'm just ugly. Remember how long that took to get that just sensation out of you? Get you walking with a smile on your face and getting your head up walking and not watching your feet or not watching your mental ugliness and Starting to let God move in your life. That's what the band of warriors for Christ do. I never forget that either. I never forget what you've, how, how far you've come in Christ as we've encouraged you. Back to the story. I choose to be with the band of warriors for Christ because God proves that He has called me to be with His people here. My life took a turn and I lost everything. I lost my wife, my house, my car, and my peace. My life was in turmoil. The world had me down. I could see no way to regain what was lost. Could you imagine that? Some of you have been there. In many ways, I've been there. So I called the past source of my peace, Pastor Lantis, and the band of wars for Christ. And I cried out to the messenger of Jesus Christ. Man, just like the father looking over the hill, seeing if the son's going to come back. I was looking for a message from Jesus Christ himself. I found that in the Reverend Daniel Lantis and his lovely wife, Miley Lantis, it wasn't just them that other faithful saints poured in oil into my wounds and bound me up and put me in and in and took care of me. And he's not talking about wounds of the flesh. He's talking about wounds of the spirit of the heart. He's talking about you brothers and sisters, part of the band of wars for Christ. You are letting Faith and works and 
and all that to work flow from your head to your mind. And you just allow God to use you to pour oil in this person's life. And some of you bound him up and helped him. And yeah, it took time to take care of those wounds. You didn't even think the sab would work. Jesus Christ says, bless me beyond my expectation with a good job that is better than I expected. I now I know I now have a, a house that I never expected, and I have brothers and sisters that is just wonderful. I'll tell you that the Holy Ghost made all this happen through his people. No one person or a few people did it. I see the spirit of the Lord working through his people in band of wars for Christ. This is the reason I am in and am a the band of wars for Christ. Wow. For these few short stories from a person that wrote in Tagalog to per people that wrote in English, these few sto short stories, I hope gave you an insight of who we really are. I hope the scriptures that I give you, I hope you get in this afternoon and tear up Proverbs chapter 3 like never before and start begging God to, to use you in verse 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 21, 23, 26, 27. Oh my goodness, Lord Jesus. 35, I'm telling you, the chapter is packed full of what you can do to turn and tweak your life into righteousness. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Well, I share with you the word of God. I hope it helps. I hope it leads you to perfection. As Marlene comes and sings closing song, something magnificent, exciting, on fire. We love you. God bless. Amen. Blessed be your name in the land that is plentiful. Where your streams of abundance flow, blessed be your name. Blessed be your name when I'm found in the desert place. Though I walk through the wilderness, blessed be your name. Thank you, Jesus, Lord. Every blessing you pour out, I hope. Turn back to praise. When the darkness closes in, Lord, still I will say, Blessed be the name of the Lord. Blessed be your name. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Blessed be your glorious name. Blessed be your name when the sun is shining down on me. When the world's all as it should be, blessed be your name. Blessed be your name on the road marked with suffering. Though there's pain in the offering, blessed be your name. Every blessing you pour out, I'll turn back to praise. When the darkness closes in, Lord, still I will say, Blessed be the name of the Lord.
Blessed be your name. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Blessed be your glorious name. You give and take away. You give and take away. My heart will choose to say, Lord, blessed be your name. Give and take away, you give and take away. My heart will choose to say, Lord, blessed be your name. You give and take away, you give and take away. My heart will choose to say, Lord, blessed be your name. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Blessed be your name. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Blessed be your glorious name. You give and take away. You give and take away. My heart will choose to say, Lord, blessed be your name. Give the Lord a place. Hallelujah. 